Want to know the forgotten summer shoe? Stay tuned, I'm going to tell you. What's up, Team Handsome Guy? It's your boy Rhyme again here, back with another YouTube video. And if I haven't told you yet today, you, my friend, are looking awesome. I want to talk about the forgotten shoe, and I don't really know why it's forgotten. It just seems like a lot of people, even high fashion people, guys that really study style, they just avoid it altogether. I don't really understand why. And that shoe is the white suede buck. Now, as you can see, mine are very worn in. They're dirty. I wear these a lot. I like wearing these. So, a little background on the white suede buck. This is a very preppy style shoe. It's considered very fraternity. It's considered Ivy League. It's considered Ivy League style. It is considered very, very, very preppy. One of probably the preppiest shoes you can wear, besides maybe some penny loafers or even the boat shoe, but the boat shoe's kind of gone mainstream. Anyways, besides the point, back on the buck. The white suede buck... A couple things I want to talk about is what these shoes kind of represent. They, they do represent the Ivy League style, and I am totally for that. And I think a lot of people avoid that because they don't want to be considered preppy. Um, I don't really know why a lot of people want to avoid that type of label because when I think preppy, I think wealthy, successful, smart. I think schools like Princeton, Harvard, Yale, all these badass schools where people go to get super high educations, and when they come out, they get super high paying jobs, they're smart, they're entrepreneurs. Basically, if you have an Ivy League degree, you are automatically considered smarter than everybody around you. I didn't make those rules. I didn't make those judgments. I'm only saying because that's the fucking truth. When you go to an Ivy League school and you graduate, you are considered a smart person. When you dress in an Ivy League type of style, naturally you're going to portray that you went to an Ivy League school, that you have that way of dress, that you are a smart, wealthy, successful person. I don't know why people want to avoid that. Those things sound pretty fucking awesome. That's where the white suede bucks come in. Now, a lot of people avoid these because, number one, they're white. Okay, as you can see, mine are very dirty. I don't try to keep these things clean. And that's two schools of thought. You got the guys over here that like that want to wear the white suede bucks but keep it super, super clean. That is a very, that's a, that's a bad way to live, always worrying about your fucking shoes being dirty. I come from the school of, Buy them once and get them dirty and wear the hell out of them. That's why you see mine. They're not clean. I wear these to nightclubs. They just kind of get beat up and dirty, but I think it gives them character and personality. So, should you incorporate the white suede buck into your wardrobe? Absolutely. If somebody's avoiding something or ten, people tend to avoid something, I always tend to go towards it because that, one, differentiate yourself, and two, who doesn't want to wear something that's considered wealthy, successful, and portray that type of image? And that is what the Ivy League preppy style does. And if you watch a lot of my stuff, you notice some of my things, I do like to intertwine a lot of high preppy, high, you know, trad style pieces with more modern street style. That's kind of my thing. I like to be, you know, like kind of dressed up, but dressed down in a way. I don't really have like a specific name for it, but when I do, I'll make a video about it. But yeah, I think you should definitely check these out. And I'm going to show you guys two ways that I like to wear the white suede bucks, which I consider the forgotten summer shoes. So, with that said, check out this outfit. All right, so the first outfit you're going to see me wearing in this video is actually more of a casual daytime outfit. You're going to see me rocking the long sleeve Oxford button down shirt. It's a light blue, it's a classic menswear staple. It's an awesome shirt. The one I'm wearing is actually from Old Navy. I did not get it tailored, it just fit really well off the rack. Um, and the thing about Oxford, you want to just Buy them, get them to fit pretty good, and then just wear the hell out of them. The more you wear them, the more they get frayed. Once again, that's kind of more of a preppier style. The Oxford come from a preppy background. So, and you'll see the shorts. Like I said, I like to mix high prep with street style. You see I have the cut off skinny jeans. Um, I roll, I cuff them, and they kind of, I kind of let them fray a little bit. This adds a little bit of a, a messiness to the otherwise preppy, well put together outfit. Plus that they're skinny, they're not a, a baggy fit, which is more of a street style type of look. And you'll see the GH Bass White Suede Bucks that I showed in this video. This is like a great daytime outfit, going on day dates, you know, barbecues. Um, you could even, I mean, technically you could probably get into some nightclubs wearing this depending on where you are, but you could also wear this same outfit with a pair of black denim jeans, skinny jeans, and it would look really, really good. So like I said, versatile outfit, really cool, uh, good for summertime, good for spring. And yeah, that's it for this outfit. Hope you guys like it, and let's check out outfit number two. All right, so outfit number two, this is more of a, uh, more of a, it's a casual outfit, but you can dress this up. It is wearing the lighter colored denim. So uh, once again, I have just the basic 
uh, crew neck t-shirt. You can wear this in a variety of colors with the white shoes, all kinds of colors, blacks, grays, uh, navies, light navies, or light blues, all look good with the white suede buck. Um, the jeans are from Cotton On. I had the 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 bottoms tapered from the knee down to get that really streamlined look. And then, of course, I got the big cuff. Um, I like showing a lot of ankle, adds a little personality to an otherwise simple outfit. And then once again, the white suede bucks. If you wanted to, this could be more of a nighttime outfit for dates and for, uh, you know, going out to a nicer dinner. You could throw on a, a black blazer, a gray blazer, some sort of blazer to add in that extra layer. And boom, instantly it's going to step it up a notch. The reason I like this outfit is because it does take the preppiness of the white suede bucks and it dresses them down because you're wearing the t-shirt while keeping the edgy street style type of vibe with the skinny jeans. So that's two ways that I like to rock my white suede box and ways that I wear all throughout summer and spring and even going into fall. Um, I know you're not supposed to wear white suede bucks after Labor Day, which I think is a stupid rule. I don't know. That's up to you if you want to follow that rule, but I personally don't care. I wear what I want when I want. So yeah, that's the um, that's how two ways I like to rock white suede bucks. Hope you guys enjoy it. Talk to you soon. Oh, one more thing I forgot to add is actually where to get white suede bucks and ones that I like. Now, you see the ones that I'm wearing? They're actually GH Bass. GH Bass is one of the original preppy New England type of brands. I actually picked the ones up you're seeing in this video for $60. I think I actually got a $10 discount on that as well from my local Bass outlet. You may or may not have a Bass outlet in your area. If you do, that's 100% where, where I suggest you go to get these. I don't recommend you spend more than $100 on a pair of white suede bucks because if you come from the same school of thought as I do, you want to get them dirty and just wear the hell out of them. And if you're buying three, $400 white suede bucks, you just kind of don't want to get them dirty and fuck them up because you spent so much damn money on them. So I would avoid the higher end model white suede bucks. A lot of companies have these shoes. Just kind of do some searching. I like GH Bass. I know J Crew has some. Um, I know you can get them at Aldo certain times of the year. Um, call it spring. ASOS has their own brand. A lot of companies have these, uh, you know, white suede bucks. But get a decent pair. Make sure they're actually suede. And yeah, wear the hell out of them. Don't be one of those guys that's always worried about his shoes getting dirty. Just wear your shit. Look good in it. Rock it. Maybe, tr you know, try the ways that I just showed you in this video. And that's it. Like, comment, subscribe, and let me know how you're going to be rocking some white suede bucks. And if you are, Talk to you guys later. Peace. Also, if you haven't yet, make sure to subscribe to the channel. I put out new content every week. And also, make sure you check the links below this video. I have a lot of cool stuff down there, some free gifts for you. I also have a link to one of my coolest products, Seven Looks to Make Her Wanna Fuck You, which shows you how to dress well to attract women. I also have a link to my private members-only Facebook group which for guys like you who want to look awesome and get some support and talk to other guys who are trying to look awesome. Plus, I'm in there all the time answering questions. So, check those out. Links under the video.